All right guys, welcome back for another video from TDL DIY. So we're gonna be looking at uh, restoring some headlights on the 2013 Mazda 3. Um, so we got this uh, kit, we're gonna give it a try. So I got this uh, Serenco kit, and we're gonna give it a shot because uh, my wife's headlights are becoming quite foggy and uh, we just want to re revitalize them and make them look like brand new again. And uh, I've seen some reviews on this stuff and it's been really good, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm super excited to see what kind of uh, results I'm gonna get from this and to show you guys that, hey, maybe this is an option for you guys. It is slightly a little bit more expensive, but uh, you know, less, you don't have to have all the tools and whatnot. So this could be a very good option for you guys. So let's take a look at the headlights. So as you can see, they're very foggy all up there and it doesn't look very good at all. Now let's take a look from a different angle. And you can see the waviness of it right here. Yeah, it doesn't look good one bit. From head on, from the camera, doesn't look too bad. But again, it's a little cloudy. This side we already got prepped up, guys. So uh, we're gonna prep the other side up here pretty soon. And you can see there all the, the waviness and fogginess right there. So <clears throat> I'm going to uh, get the side prepped up and I'll get back with you guys in just a second. So we got the headlights all prepped up. We got uh, tape around them. Now we're gonna take a look at opening our uh, Siren Coat package here. I'm not sponsored by these guys at all. I bought this with my own money. It wasn't even a gift. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at the instructions real quick and open it for the first time. All right, so what do we got here? So that's what the kit contains right there. It's broken down into uh, a couple different steps. Step one. And then we got some pads and a couple rubber gloves. We got some uh, step three. As in the first step, uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a step one package and there's eight wipes in there and we're gonna wipe in a circular motion all over the headlights, four sheets per side, there's a total of eight. Wipes will turn yellow and then you move on to the next one and uh, it said don't worry if you get to the fourth wipe and it's still, you got quite a bit of yellow on the, the wipe. Uh, it says it will come off in the next step. So what we're going to be doing, um, and if you get a little bit on it, if you get some on your paint by any, by mistake, then just wipe, wipe it off with a dry uh, cloth. So it's pretty easy. We got to put on our gloves. There's two sets of gloves, and in the first step, they want us to put on our gloves. So each each one of these packets, there's four on each side. So we'll just throw one on this side and then we'll have one on this side as well. Another step I got, forgot to mention guys is that you have to clean your headlights thoroughly before you uh, start applying this package. Now we did, we, we uh, wiped them all off and we used um, rubbing alcohol to do a final wipe and this is where we're at right now. So we're just about to apply the product. So make sure you just do like soap and water on the headlights, give it a quick rinse, uh, wash very thoroughly and then after what I did, it doesn't mean you have to do it, is I just took some rubbing alcohol Wipe the lenses down so that they're perfect and clean. All right, step one. This is what the pad looks like. It's quite damp. And we're just gonna move in circular motions. It says circular scrubbing motion. And as you can tell, it's starting to turn yellow already. So we're just gonna flip it. But if that's anything like what the headlight's gonna look like, already I'm impressed. Now 
Now we do have some rock chips and stuff in the headlight. Uh, nothing we can really do about that. All right, so I think this is pretty yellow. We're gonna move on to the next, next pad. Man, that headlight looks already like a million times better. So we're just gonna throw our uh, stuff on the ground right now. That's just step one. Look at that. Okay, so the next part, it's, uh, it says rinse thoroughly. And I just got a wet cloth and we'll just wipe that down. Dry paper towel. When step one is complete, your headlight should have a cloudy look. <clears throat> so it, it, it's kind of cloudy again. <clears throat> so for step two, fasten the red disc to the surface pad. Be careful not to sand the paint or surrounding areas. Anyways, it's right there guys. We just got to hit this other headlight first before we move on to uh, step two. It asks us to apply the red uh, the red sandpaper on this applicator. You don't have to use the applicator, depends on how tight the spot is. You could take that, uh, the yellow part off. Um, it says to apply with water and a spray bottle is recommended. So you're gonna um, do this in even patterns, non-circular, and you're gonna wanna use a lot of water. And you're gonna do it for about two to three minutes. So I have my clock and I'm gonna start now. So we're gonna make sure it's all wet. We're not gonna apply a lot of pressure here, just back and forth. Now it says to uh, thoroughly rinse the area and then switch to the gray pad and do the same thing. So we're just gonna thoroughly rinse this area off. I think that's pretty good. If uh, anybody was curious, uh, the, the red pad was 2000 grit, which we just used. And the scrape pad is a uh, 3000 grit. So the next part, it says to rinse the headlight and surrounding areas with a well with water and a dry, clean, soft towel. So I'm going to go get some microfiber towels and we're going to spray the area down. So it says rinse it really well. 
and wipe it dry and surrounding areas. And we need this really dry for the next process. So we'll let that dry up for a bit. That is nice and smooth now. And the light went hazy again. We're down to step three. It's the ceramic clear coat. Now I want you to do only one pass and you gotta put on your, your rubber gloves. And it wants you to move in a horizontal motion this way from top to bottom uh, using a single, sheet, single direction with a 50% overlap in technique and only use uh, one single coat. So we're gonna start here. And we're gonna go top to bottom, like it says, 50% overlap. That's it. So that's what the final result is gonna look like. And it looks absolutely fantastic, brand new. Now we're gonna throw away this pad and we're gonna get the other one, do the other side. Start from the top. Fifty percent overlap. Going in a horizontal pattern. Allow the sarin coat clear coat to dry for a minimum of 60 minutes before exposing to driving or any moisture. Note if the clear coat gets on the paint, don't worry, just wipe it off immediately with a drain, with a clean dry towel. And look at how clear that is. That is absolutely amazing. Now, that being said, we just put the coat on, so it is kind of still wet. We're going to take a look at this tomorrow and see if it's just as clear. But as of right now, that is pretty damn crystal clear and I'm like super, super happy with how this looks. Absolutely gorgeous. They look really, really good. Guys, that looks absolutely amazing. I can't, can't imagine. This, this is absolutely fantastic. So it's pretty much a similar process to uh, how you would clear sand, or sorry, um, wet sand a headlight, and then put a clear coat on it. But this, 
we're actually putting a ceramic clear coating on top of the headlight after we've just wet sanded it and prepped it and got that chemical wipe to get rid of that uh, residue. So it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm super, super happy of the way it turned out and it looks absolutely amazing. Just take a look at it. Anyways guys, that'll be the end for this video. <clears throat> we'll check back tomorrow morning and see how it looks. But uh, I think we'll be pretty good for the night. I don't think it's gonna rain right away. I think this kit was around $40. I'll double check. Uh, you can get this kit on Amazon, but I got mine actually from Serenkota itself, uh, from the States, and paid that US dollar and got it shipped here. But it wasn't too bad. It was still a little bit cheaper than Amazon, and that's the way I went. So I will put that in the link description below, uh, the Amazon one, and I'll also put the actual website for Serenkota. All right guys, today is the next day and unfortunately it's starting to rain, but look at those headlights. They are absolutely the same and crystal clear like we left it last night. Just absolutely looks stunning and I can't be any more happier than I am with the outcome of these headlights. <clears throat> look at how good that looks. Absolutely. Incredible. Right there you can see. Absolutely stunning. And since it's been over 60 minutes, it's allowed to get wet. Compared to this, Thanks guys uh, so much for watching and don't forget, never stop learning.